Hi folks, it's me, Robert J. E. Simpson here once again with the vlog. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. For those of you who've been with me the last few weeks, hopefully by now you're getting a little bit of an insight into my own inspirations, and hopefully it may also be um, firing you up as well with some of yours. All right, today, as we record this, is the 8th of April 2020. Today would have been the 77th birthday of British horror writer James Herbert, a man who uh, I actually I greatly admire and respect and um, have been influenced by, but in a sort of roundabout way. I first became aware of James Herbert's writing in my teenage years. Uh, my brother, Johnny, was a huge fan, um, had a number of his books sitting on his shelves, would pick them up from bookstores and would tell me about them. And I remember him sitting down one night and actually talking me through the plots of The Rats and the Fog. And being quite interested, but I never at that time actually got round to reading them. Um, by that point, I'd already started my work on horror, and it's the thing that I've, I guess, I've for most of you, I've probably become best remembered with, and um, those of you that know my actual creative work. Um, and I did that for a long, long time. But even though I've, I've been a fan of horror since I was a teenager, even though I've, I've published magazines and I've written for books and things on this stuff, I broadcast quite widely. I haven't read as many of the horror. Much as, as much of the horror literature as I would like to have and as much as you might have expected. I mean, to this day, I still haven't got my way through a Stephen King novel, even though I have enjoyed many of the screen adaptations of his books themselves. Um, Herbert, I finally got round to reading, coincidentally enough, on a trip to Edinburgh to visit my brother um, when I was in my sort of early to mid-twenties. And um, I happened to be over uh, walking down to Stockbridge to where he was living at the time and I came across a second-hand bookstore. And outside on the shelves outside the bookstore there were a pile of novels including a couple of James Herberts and I picked them up and they were in like 50p a piece. Uh, and I thought well sure I'll take a punt on them, there'll be something to read. I hadn't brought a book with me and I think it may have been Fluke and possibly The Rats that I bought on that day. But I found them um, actually quite arresting right from the start. I like the style, uh, I like the pace of them and the horror stuff had just enough horror in there for me to kind of um, be intrigued. And that's sort of, sort of addiction. I've gone through and I've devoured most of them ever since. Um, I think there's possibly still one or two of his books that I haven't got around to reading but at some point I will. Uh, and I know I have my, my collection of sort of new second hand and also some new editions of his books as well. But The Rats! is the one that really sold me on James Herbert, um, mostly because it taps into one of my own fears. I am not keen on these furry beasties. Um, as a kid growing up in the, the sort of the rural parts of the outer fringes of Belfast at the foot of the Craig Atlet Hills, um, we were in a space where there were lots of rats would run around. We lived next to a quarry, an old diffused quarry, so there's plenty of homes for them. And my father occasionally would have to uh, sort of trap them as they ran through the gardens. And I remember seeing them in cages and squealing because they didn't like being caught in those confined spaces and dad's stories of having to dispose of them later on. Um, and we were always very aware about the diseases that potentially they carried as well. So it was something that we tried to avoid, even though occasionally we did encounter them at home. In fact, my, my two fears are sort of rats and fire, and God forbid I should ever encounter a day where I see a rat on fire, that probably will make me in a fit, unable to function at all. But Herbert manages to tap into that, and this, this became a series of three books, um, each of them um, just as intriguing as the last. And I think it's because I have that fear already in me, he just brings that out, and it makes me sort of sit on the edge of my seat and wanting to read and read and read. And that's what he's very good at doing, is tapping into those sort of subconscious fears, those very real fears. Um, you know, it, it also, they're laced with um, theology and religion and, and sort of things like that. I mean, his Catholicism comes through quite a lot. In some of the books um so there is there is stuff there that, that sort of just works for me uh, and that's why i keep on returning to them now i know people were very disparaging about him in his later years as he got older the books became less frequent they were somehow a little bit less chilling i guess tastes had changed somewhat um but i did finally get to meet the man a couple of times um in the mid 2000s uh i was a guest at one of Ingrid Pitt, the late actress's uh, birthday parties. And uh, alongside, uh, I think it was Kiro Mara for that one, Caroline Monroe possibly, and James Herbert as well. We were on the, the sort of the VIP guest list. I don't know how I ever ended up on the like, VIP section, but nevertheless, I was there. So I would have encountered him briefly at that. And there's a couple of photographs of me with him. And I'd actually forgotten until very recently that we had encountered each other at that event. I didn't meet him properly and have a proper conversation until October 2012, when also, ironically, through Ingrid, um, 
they had a festival, the Queen of Horror Festival, down in Hastings, uh, in her memory. And James was one of the guests at that. And I finally got to meet him and have a proper chat with him. I managed to get him to sign this copy of Ash for me. See if you can see that there. Uh, I managed to pick up a copy from my brother as well and give him that. Um, which was also uh, dedicated, which was a nice little touch. You know, as a thank you for all those years of having introduced me to someone who I actually um, loved. And um, give him a copy of Ingrid's book, Dracula Who, which I'd published. Um, so there's some photographs of me and James. There's also photographs of James in the book. Um, we had talked at that meeting of trying to arrange a proper interview. That was the plan, to have a sit-down interview that was going to be in-depth. And we'd talk about his work. And that probably would have got published either through, through one of my own ventures or the magazine that I was editing at the time. Unfortunately, it wasn't to pass. Um, James uh, died uh, suddenly on the 20th of March 2013, uh, just a couple of weeks shy of his 70th birthday, which was, um, I think, a, a terrible loss for, for the horror community um, and, and for sort of pulp reading, really. Um, certainly for, for someone who was involved in the horror scene, I was very, very um, saddened by his, his departure. But I love the fact that we have all his books. They are stuff that I thoroughly enjoy. There are novels that I will return to um, every now and then. And even though things are very, very dark out there at the moment, I am strongly um, inclined to sit and start rereading again, probably reread The Rats and The Fog over the next couple of weeks, just to kind of get my mind back into, well, I guess it's places of continuing this sort of macabre, very, very sinister, very, very unpleasant sensation. But also there's something quite reassuring about the fact that these are books that I love and have adored and have chilled me in the past. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. So just to mark the 77th birthday of the writer James Herbert and also my own birthday. We do share a birthday and I'm very, very privileged to do that, um, to share that date with, with James and also to have met him just that once uh, properly, which, which warms the cockles in my heart, to be honest. Um... So let me know what it is that you guys are reading while you're in your lockdown. Let me know what you think about James Herbert stuff. If you ever read him, or if you're if you're interested, or maybe you don't like him at all. Maybe you find him food too generic. And um, aside from that, uh, to share your thoughts. You know where to get me. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all over the place. You'll either find me as Robert J E Simpson or as Avalard A V A L A R D. And um, until hopefully tomorrow, to the pip. <laughs>